Dope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't care what the reason is behind why she looks like that, but you're not getting in my house. I don't give a cluck what you talking about. This footage was captured in Flint, Michigan on April 24th, 2023. The house had two ring cameras, one above the garage and the other was a ring doorbell camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him are shown walking up to the house's front door. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying to break down the door. See, if, I had, if you had an Adidas alarm system, security system, that's it. That's it. Am I wrong for thinking that if that happened to me, God forbid, and I saw all of it happen in real time and I was in the inside, like I was on the other side of the door, had a shotgun ready. Would I be wrong if I blasted your ass? Would I be wrong for that? Let me know in the comment section because uh, my life, I feel threatened. My life was on the line. The ring camera falls to the ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. After those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. They noticed their doorbell camera on the ground, and so they switched over to their other camera. As the banging noise rang out throughout the house, they could now see what was causing it. coming over the speaker was enough to scare the two men off. Police were called out to the property. When they reviewed the footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. What these two men planned to do with the people inside if they had successfully broken in is unknown. It's unclear if they were ever identified by police. What do you mean is unknown? They not this clip was any... captured at three in the morning. Did she go? What's she talking about unknown? It's unclear, it's unknown what would have happened if they went to, if they entered the house. They would have had a fun time inside all their asses. That would that sounded so wrong. Cause they not having Chipotle. You know? They're not praising God. They're not having no clucking tea party. They trying to get up in that ass. On April 9th, 2023, it happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about it. He reviewed the footage, horrified. This is what he saw. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. Shit crazy. And it looked like somebody already clucked you up from it looked like you did the same shit that somebody else's house, but they caught you and they clucked your ass up, but you didn't learn your lesson, so now you're going to each every everybody else's house. I would also cluck you up. Just Dead ass. What the f 
the homeowner claimed that he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. It's likely she was under the influence of something. No shit! Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. After a few minutes she walks off and was never seen on the property again. Her intentions are unknown. Walter Hickox is a homeowner in Daytona Beach, Florida. His home is set out in a wooded section of the city. In January of 2022, Walter was taking his three dogs out onto the porch. Oh. And he noticed one of them intently looking at something outside. The dogs suddenly start running to the left side of the camera. property and I hop that much holy shit ho oh ho ah they start running to the left side of the camera and that's when Walter realizes they were looking at a black bear the bear climbs over a protective railing as it goes for the dogs With barely any time to process what he was seeing, Walter lunges at the bear as it goes for his dogs. He manages to push it back before he shoves a nearby chair in the doorway, preventing it from attacking again. Please tell me all dogs are safe. I'm a dog guy. Please tell me all his dogs are safe, unharmed. He yells out that he was attacked by a bear as he brings his dogs back inside. I can't get my bear! Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh god, it, he was serious when he said, Oh my god! It's just. It was just funny to me. I don't know. I laugh at some really clucked up shit. But you're in the, you're in the woods. Like, all, all kinds of shit is in the woods. So that's on you. Because you could have had your security top notch. You could have had top tier security. A deal of security. You in the woods. You knew what you was getting yourself into. That's on you. When I had time to just sit and just stare, it all hit me and I started bawling. I couldn't believe how close to death I was and I did it for my dog. Walter received minor injuries from the bear. His dogs didn't receive any injuries. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't really care for the guy. Just the dogs. This homeowner in Texas got a knock at their door for a DoorDash delivery around 1.20 in the morning. Only the homeowner had- 1.20 in the morning? That's- 1.20 in the morning? Who the fuck? You got McDonald's? What you got? Waffle House? What else? What's open? I don't really eat that late. And I also don't know what fast food joints are open that late. In order DoorDash, she was sleeping. It was only her and her nephew in the home at the time. She remembers waking up to a metal clinking sound, but didn't think much of it until she noticed damage to the outside of her house the next morning. What? This caused her to look back at her cameras, both the footage from her doorbell camera and the one she had set up in her backyard. This is what she saw. Is this not DoorDash? Hold on. The 
The first video isn't as concerning. A woman standing at the door, claiming to be with a DoorDash from 1.20 a.m. to 2 a.m. This could be written off as a determined Whoa, delivery driver. Whoa, wait a minute. You waited outside for 1.20 a.m. to 2 a.m.? You ain't DoorDash. Ain't nobody about to wait outside for that long. I unknowingly had the wrong address. But it was the backyard footage that was genuinely concerning. At 2 a.m., a four men... <laughs> yo. Hey, yo, go back. It's like he didn't know that was a trampoline. He got him bouncing like crazy. He look crazy. He look, he look, he a goofy ass. He a goofy ass. Cause he walking normal. Get another trampoline. <laughs> you try to be cool. You try to be slick. You can't be on a trampoline and be smooth about it and be cool about it. You're gonna look like a goofy ass. Be concerning. At 2 a.m., four men got into the backyard and tried to gain entry into the home through a window. It's likely they planned on entering through the front door by ambushing the person that opened it for the DoorDash delivery. Oh my god. But when no one answered, they resorted to trying the backyard while the fake DoorDash deliverer stayed out front as a distraction. Oh, they didn't say that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew someone's up. Because now she ain't going to hoots with the four eggs in the back. Cause you you had me at the see this is where I knew it was cocked up at one twenty in the morning. DoorDash at one twenty, and then you waiting outside from one twenty to two a.m. Forty minutes. Ain't no way you waiting that long. Ain't no way I'm eating that shit. However, fortunately, the men would be unsuccessful and are shown running away from the house on the backyard camera. The four men and the woman at the front door were all seen leaving the area together in a dark colored sedan. Damn. They were never caught by police. Are you serious? Her face is as clear as day. The big ass nostrils. In June of 2019, multiple homes in Chicago got a visit from a man claiming to be... Je claiming to be Jehovah's Witness. I haven't seen them since... Years and years and years and years ago. From when I was like a little, little boy. Really? I haven't seen Jehovah's Witness coming at the doors since COVID started. Investigator known as Jeff Rushmore. The only problem is that man doesn't exist. He was impersonating an investigator with the local police department, fully equipped with a fake uniform, a fake badge, and fake police radio shatter. This ring camera caught him performing the act. Can't you go to jail for impersonating a, a police officer? What do you say? Fake name? Fake badge? Yeah, just fake all of it, huh? Fake these nuts. Can you open the door? Go ahead and check the desk out. No parking, you're taking my one. It's going to be the sixth person. Uh, nice letter, North Philadelphia. And you're stupid. Like, we, we can clearly see your face. I'm convinced that the people that be doing shit like this, doing the clutch shit at people's homes, that sees the camera and it's still, their face is like, like, this see the camera, right? Like, just the camera? Like, just the doorbell camera? And they'd be like... Your face is as clear as day. The homeowner doesn't answer the door, yet the man stays in character, even faking a call back reporting the unresponsive homeowner. 
Another home in the area, equipped with the ring doorbell camera, shows the same man. This time, the homeowner does open the door. Oh! How does somebody like this not get caught? I hope he gets caught. It's just like, I'm just baffled because it's like, you're on camera showing your complete face. Like, the police, FBI, CIA, all of them. I feel like they got facial, uh, I can never say this word. Facial recognition. There you go. Hi, uh, sorry about this delay. Uh, Rush me with the Winfield Police Department. I'm an investigator. When your neighbor is down the street, report a missing. The video cuts out there. The man explains a missing person case, and when the homeowner says he doesn't know anything about it, the interaction ends. The motives behind him impersonating an investigator are unknown. Often there are cases like this where the man is simply trying to get people to open their door thinking they're safe, but proceed to rob them, or sometimes worse. However, he doesn't do this. No one knows his motives. One commenter said, I honestly believe he was testing the waters, and as he felt more confident, he would have escalated from getting people to open their door to entering into people's homes to only God knows what next. According to recent documents, the man was never identified. How? How the hell? How to, how to call up? That's cat. This video was captured in Kansas City. The doorbell footage shows a man appearing on the left side of the screen and climbing on the guardrail. He was trying to stay out of frame as he attempted to take the ring camera off of the home. Inside the home was a woman and her son. Damn. The man was the woman's ex-boyfriend. He failed to remove the camera, so he left, but returned 30 minutes later. This time, he had a cloth to cover the camera. I feel like there's enough evidence. Like, I feel like he's shown enough, but not everything, just enough um, for the police to catch him. Because that's her ex. You're not showing your whole body. You're not showing your whole face, but your ex knows like what you look like. Probably has pictures and videos of you. To arrest him on site. You see, go back. That's that's just that's enough. That that right there, that's enough. Three minutes later, the homeowner's son ran into her room, frantic, telling her their car was on fire. Police and firefighters were called to the scene, but not before the fire destroyed their car and most of their home. Damn. Marianne, an expert in abusive relationships, responded with, Abusive relationships are about power and control. And when that power and control is taken away or it's minimized, then what we see is those efforts are escalated to try and get them back. Damn. Police are currently looking for the homeowner's ex-boyfriend seen in the video. Jeez. This happened in April of 2023 in a wooded section of Asheville, North Carolina. That's another bear! And all the clockness right there. God damn. Look at all that wilderness. The homeowner of this house got a notification saying motion was detected in her front door. She opened the app on her phone and saw three bears on her front porch. God damn! They were tearing open a package that had recently been delivered. One is already... Inside the package was dog food, which they easily would have been able to smell. The homeowner opened her door and confronted the animals, trying to scare them off. But one bear is bad enough. Three of them motherfuckers? No! 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 Go! 
They said, they said, they said, hold on, hold on now. Hold on, hold on a second, lady. Dog food, good as shit. What's his pedigree? Oh, they took the whole shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my God. They took the whole shit. You know how much dog food is? It's, it's, it's pretty expensive. And unless you get the good shit, like, 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 like blue, and you get a big bag, oh my, it's a wrap. They just took, they took the whole shit. Go. Go. The bears take one of the two bags of dog food inside the package. They're seen on the right side of the screen with the bag in their mouth as they walk off. <laughs> oh my God. This footage was captured at night just before 2 a.m. All right, so I got a question. Did the bears, did they smell the food before in, before opening up the bag? Or did they smell it like when it was all sealed up and shit? Because if they smelled it when it was sealed up in the package and sealed up in the dog food bag, the actual bag, that's crazy. I don't know how good a be black bear nose is. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's pretty goddamn good. It shows a man ringing the doorbell to this home in Rochester, New York. Immediately after, he hides behind the parked car. He's seen crouched down, holding some kind of club in his hand, breathing heavily and sweating profusely. Uh -oh. He nervously looks back and forth from out of the street to back at the house's front door. Again, go back. Go back. Go back. We can we can get some we can get some people that look like him. If not him. Is that a Nissan? That white car? I forgot he was right there for a second. The hell? What's he doing? The man clearly looks to be on something. When he realizes no one was going to answer the door, he walks away. Another minute passes when a voice yells out that the police are on their way. Oh my god, like the smallest things make me laugh. The police are on their way. Two. <laughs> Why couldn't you just say the police are on their way too? Like why why was there such a big pause? <laughs> Oh, I laugh at the stupidest shit. Oh my God. It's unclear whose voice this is. There are two main possibilities here. Either this man was hiding from someone for one reason or another and he was trying to get inside a house so that he wouldn't be found. The voice being the person he was hiding from. Or he was trying to bait the homeowner into opening the door where he then planned to do who knows what. The voice here being a concerned neighbor that saw what he was doing. Either way, the man most likely did not have the best intentions. I'm tired of looking at these DoorDash, I mean these uh, these ring doorbell cameras, or these security cameras, and people being as clear as day, showing their face, talking about, oh, they still at large. Oh, we can't find them. Oh, it's been six years since the event. What are you talking about? You saw the person as clear as day. Now go get that person. It's not the alpha. Y'all playing. Y'all playing. 
use facial recognition <laughs> and get to people. Why are you playing with me? Oh, man, that made me mad. That made me so mad. That makes me so mad. Also, if you in a relationship and your significant other shows signs of craziness or clubness and you end the relationship, like, let's say you've been in a relationship for like three years. And that last year, they was just batshit crazy. Like, they some switched or something, you know? But you still stayed with them for like at least one more year. But then you broke it off. I would get a camera. I would get a ring. I would get a couple cameras inside and around the house. Just saying. Because you know what you're dealing with. But just catch these fools. What's so hard about that? Let me do it. Let me catch them. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. And I love you. Stay happy. My family.